Today we're going to talk about how to take pictures with one hand when that one hand is your left hand. Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live three times a week show here at youtube.com slash photo joseph every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, 2.30 a.m. Australia time. And I bring that up because hopefully we have a special viewer from Australia today. So today's show is specifically about how to take pictures, how to use a camera when you only have a left hand. Now, what a strange topic. Why would I do this? Well, if you didn't see Casey's latest 368 video that came out on Saturday, yeah, I know, I'm a total fanboy, but if you haven't seen it yet, watch it. I'll put a link to it at the very end of this video. In that video, he interviews this chap named Paul DeGelder. And Paul has one hand because a shark took his right hand. The guy's a uh, army paratrooper, navy diver. The uh, this guy is, as Casey puts it, one badass mother. Yeah, <laughs> he is the dude. So he lost a hand, and in his video, he talks about how hard it is to use a camera with just the one. L let me show you. Booyah! Okay. So that's that's where the the shark took it off from. But um, this is what we were discussing before. Why I have problems with the camera because I've, I can't hold it with my right hand. Oh, that's what you have to do. Yeah. That's impossible. And then you, like, you, when you're moving your arm, you're, you're fucking with the zoom and the, you can't grip it. There's nowhere to hold Come it. Come on, camera companies, figure this out. What do I do? So there you go. That's the challenge that Paul has. And so I watched that video and I thought, there is a better way than this. There certainly is a better way than balancing a camera here and operating with your left hand. And there's a few different things that I came up with. And here's the first one. You've seen these before. This is a battery grip. This is the GH5. This is a vertical battery grip on the GH5. It gives you an extra battery, but it also gives you a vertical trigger. The whole point of this is so that you can hold the camera in a vertical portrait orientation without having to do this, right? You get your hand like this. But what that means is that you can actually hold the camera in your left hand upside down and trigger it. Now, this is not ideal. I mean, you know, now everything's upside down, but the pictures will flip over in Lightroom or whatever, no problem. Uh, your buttons, your menus are all upside down, but they're here. You can access them. So here's what I was going to do, just to kind of demo a little bit of, it's not just about taking pictures, you got to get to the menus. I'm going to put on this big mitten so I don't accidentally kind of try to cheat to use it. But imagine, if you will, so you've, you've got your camera, and you can hold it like so. So there's your trigger. You can, at this point, set the camera down, rotate it over, set it down right side up, and now you can access all the menus you need here. You could hold it in your arm here and get to all the touchscreen interfaces. And then once again, just pick it up and away you go like this. So that, that's the easy way. That is number one. And that is something that you can do today, right? If you go out and if you've got a camera that will take the vertical grip, you can get one. You can buy some cameras that have a vertical grip built in. I know some of the bigger Canon Nikons do that. I would imagine you want to keep the camera relatively lightweight, but as you saw, Paul's kind of a big guy. I'm not too worried about, uh, about the strength there. Um, but this is a great way to do it. So that's, that's one solution. But I thought, you know, maybe there's even more that we can do. So he talks about his prosthetic arm. It's this really awesome $90,000 prosthetic arm that he's got. And I'm thinking, what if he could mount the camera onto the arm itself? So the idea I came up with is mounting a quick release plate either permanently onto the arm or with a strap. Now, first, if you're not familiar with a quick release plate, this is a quick release plate. It is a plate that is two parts. There's the plate part that attaches to the camera, the part that attaches to your tripod. And the whole idea is that you have a way to very quickly, very easily get your camera on and off, right? Nice and secure. Once it's on there, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. You can buy these as just individual little plates. So here's a little small one that I've got here. Let's go for a close up on this. And you can see this is basically just this little, little plate on here. I've already got the bottom end of it attached to this small camera, the GX85. And this piece snaps in and it locks in. And when, when it locks in to unloosen it, you just, or to loosen it, you just do the lever. So basically what's happening is it's pushing on this, this snaps forward, this part of it here clips onto the plate, holds it in place. You can even, depending on your, on your plate, you can lock it. Like this locks it so you can't accidentally take it off. I mean, you know, there's a lot of variety in plates out there, a lot of different things. Now, imagine if you just bolted this onto the arm. He's got this big, I don't know, carbon fiber or whatever arm. Uh, maybe you could bolt it on there and then you have this small plate that's there. And now it might get in the way if it's a permanent thing, that might be kind of annoying. But you could also strap it. So I rigged this up this morning. I just bought a strap with a little buckle strap and I bolted this on. You can see what this looks like on here. I've just done a quick little screw in on there, bolted on. Now, I would actually prefer that this be Velcro. I think it'd be a lot easier to do one-handed to get it really, really tight, uh, but I couldn't find a Velcro strap, so I just used this. But I'm gonna put this on my own wrist. Now, imagine 
if you will, if this was going onto a solid arm, it would be much more steady than this. This is going to be on my squishy arm here, so it's obviously not going to be rock solid. But on a solid arm, that would be pretty rock solid. You can put it up here, you know, whatever works. Now I can take this camera with the plate on it and slap it on there, and now I've got a way to hold the camera. And again, it wouldn't be moving, it would be solid. Um, I got a way to hold the camera. Now I'm operating with my left hand, but I have that left hand free to zoom, to focus, to change settings. Everything's free. This is just locked in place. And of course, if you put your hand down, the camera's not going to fall off because it's, it's what it's designed for. It's designed to stay on there. So that's another method. And then I was also thinking about, well, okay, if you're doing this, whether you're locking it onto your right arm or you're just holding it with your left hand, odds are you don't want to hold it the whole time. Obviously, you can just put a camera strap on. That's one way to do it. But Regular viewers of the show know that I'm not a huge fan of straps. They tend to get in the way. And so another idea that I had was a special type of plate uh, that has, has other ways to mount it, other places you can mount it to. And this one is from Peak Design. This is the plate, same thing, quick release plate. But this little guy here is this clever attachment that you can put just about anywhere. You can attach this to your belt. You could attach it to, if you're wearing a backpack, you could put it here. Um, and then this will allow you to mount the camera into it. So let me just real quick here. For example, I'm going to go ahead and put on my belt here. Just get this into place, lock that in. And now, let me tuck the shirt in to get that out of the way. If I switch over to the other camera here, I can take this. Well, let's do it with my left hand. I can take this and lock that into place there. And that's now locked in. And there's a release on here. There's a little button on the bottom. I know you can't really see it. There's a little red button on here. Push that button and it releases out. And now you've got a nice, easy way to hang your camera, mount it on your person so you don't have to carry it all the time. So, Paul, this one's for you. Hopefully, some of these tips are useful. Hopefully, you find a way that works for you. I really like this vertical mount thing because it does give you that capability, just like you're shooting with a regular camera with your right hand, but you're holding it in your left hand. Yeah, all the buttons and knobs aren't going to necessarily fall where they should, but I think it would work. So, that is my suggestion for you. I hope it's useful. For those watching live, we are about to go into the Q&A section of the show. If you have any ideas, any other thoughts of how Paul might be able to shoot with just a left hand, let's talk about them. Let's, uh, let's bring it up right now. <laughs>